Hi friends, Mahant here with the review of the same book, Navagraha Purana. This book is divided into three parts. The birth of the Navagrahas, the life of the Navagrahas and the glory of the Navagrahas. We are going to start with the birth. Whose story to start with other than the king of the Navagrahas, Lord Surya himself. The story starts at Rishi Kashyapa's ashram where Diti was mourning the loss of her son Hiranyaksha who was killed in combat by Lord Vishnu in his Varaha avatar. All her other sisters were crying. Aditi also was crying. And then when Sage Kashyapa asked her the reason, she told him, even when a person who is close to me is hurt, I, my heart aches a lot. And then she asked him for a boon. Swami, please grant me a son who shows to everyone in the world equal love and affection and does no prejudice. Siskashapa told, This boon is beyond my powers. Please ask Lord Vishnu. And then Aditi did severe penance. And then finally Lord Vishnu appeared before her. Lord Vishnu, being the Supreme Paramatman, knew what her wish was, yet wanted to hear it from her. When she told him about her wish, Lord Vishnu told her to look up. When Lord Vishnu asked Aditi what she could see, she told that she could see a small glittering ball. And then Lord Vishnu explained, See how the rays of Surya Bhagavan are falling equally upon every living thing. Then only realization was dawning upon Aditi. Surya Bhagavan was going to be born as her son. With excitement, she rushed back to the ashram. All her other sisters too were excited for her. One day, when Aditi was going to fetch water for the ashram, she suddenly heard a voice from, the, from above. Mother? Oh, mother! Aditi was shocked. We'll get to know who was calling her in the next video. Please wait for it in part 2. Bye.